Hello, this video is going to show you how to use uh, the inline curve editor and the gradient curve editor in Vixen 3. This actually came out in 3.4 last year, but uh, I think there's still several people out there that haven't realized that uh, they can edit these things without actually opening the old uh, editors that were there before. So in previously, when you wanted to edit a gradient, you would double click this and bring up this other editor and do your editing in here. Uh, the same for the curve, you would double click on this and bring up this larger curve editor and do your editing in here. Um, both of these are great if you want to do some, you know, you know, fine tuning on like the curve or use some of the other features in there about setting points, you know, to a specific value. But if you want to do quick edits, you can do them directly right here in the editor. So one of the uh, easiest things to do is, is if you hover over a point where they're at, you'll see that the cursor changes to a crosshair. And then you can actually take this and drag it around to wherever you want. And you'll see the tooltip, you know, come up there with the actual value of uh, whichever point you're editing there. So you can do this with uh, any of the points there, move them around as you want right there and there, never have to open the editor. Uh, you can also add points. So I'm going to hold down the control key and I'm going to click right here and I'm going to add a point in here that then I can drag around and edit. I don't even necessarily have to click on the line. I can go over here and click over here like this and add another point here. And you see, you know, my pulse is automatically changing to where I've made my curve changes in here. If I, conversely, if I want to remove them, I'll hold down the alt key and hover over it and then click on it and that makes those points go away. So then I'm back to my traditional curve. Uh, another um, feature that you can use in here to actually um, um, revert or reverse or invert the curve. So if you actually hold down um, the Alt and the Shift key, this will actually invert the curve. You see it actually inverting from right to left there, and it's actually easier to see if I have an extra whoops, have an extra point here. Where you can see the difference in here. So there you go. You can see it flipping back and forth from end to end. I can also actually take and hold down the control and the shift and do a reverse on it, flipping it you know, up and down. These mirror the two functions inside of the um, big editor as well. Another feature that with this here, and you kind of saw it there, is if I hold down the shift key, I can actually take this and convert this into a flat level curve. And then by dragging up and down on it, I can change it, you know, the entire length of it as a flat curve. And you'll see down here that there's also a slider that appears, and you can do the same thing with it. And you can see the value there as well when you're you know, sliding along in the tooltip. So that covers all the features uh, with, uh, with the curve editor. The gradient editor works very similar to the uh, actual larger gradient. There's uh, the color points here. You can take and just click and drag those back and forth. Double clicking on that will actually allow you to change the color on it. Um, I can come along here and uh, hold down the control key and click, and then I can add another point in here. So then I can double click on it, can make it green, and then obviously I can drag it back and forth and this works just like it does in the other editor. If I want to remove it, I just sit, hold down the Alt key and click on it, and that point goes away. So that makes it pretty easy to go ahead and edit these curves or gradients right inside the editor without having to open up the other larger, uh, bulkier editor and do multiple click-throughs. Uh, this also works uh, if you have um, multiple effects. So if I have both of these effects here and I have them selected, I can actually go in here and edit it, and you know it will multi-edit both of those curves at the same time. You saw both of the effects there actually changing in response to that. So then when I get done, each each individual effect has the same curve on there, but you know it didn't alter the other one that I didn't want to change. So there you have it. There's the inline curve editor and the inline gradient editor in Vixen 3.